everybody. I'm just hanging out this afternoon with my girl. You see her sleeping on the sleeping on the edge of my chair. Ella Bella. Hey. No, nope. she is out of it. I feel her little foot against my shoulder. Yeah, she's out. Let me put you guys up here where I can talk to you. Okay, this is just going to be a catching up video. I'm not feeling so hot. Um, it's just been a gloomy day. It's just, it rained earlier. It thundered and didn't really storm, but rained fairly heavily, steadily. And it was gloomy. Sun's back out now for this afternoon, but I've just been inside. Just I did a little bit of stuff around the house. And then this afternoon, I've just been watching, I'm watching the weather channel with the, the, um, coverage of Hurricane Florence. And then there's also this disturbance, this tropical stuff happening in the Gulf that hasn't turned into anything yet, but it's just, it's there and it's, you know, we're going to get rain out of it one way or the other, but whenever anything is going on in the Gulf, I take note <laughs> after, you know, Hurricane Ike and then, you know, Hurricane Harvey, all that hit us here. Every time there's something in the Gulf, I take note. So I'm just watching TV, hoping for the people on the southeast coast that this Hurricane Florence drops in intensity and, and doesn't, doesn't do what they're saying it's probably going to do because I know after Hurricane Ike, it, it was, you know, bad here and it's going to be bad for them. So it's just hard to watch. Um... So, yeah, I'm just been taking it easy. You can tell I got some work done in here. The mantle cleared off, and the hearth is cleared off, too. The mantle, I've just got my little candle stuff up there, and I haven't packed that stuff up yet. Um, I need to probably work on that this weekend, maybe, though. I want to keep that one thing in the middle up. That's just a metal, like a candle lantern, like you put a... A jar candle down inside and it, it has a pretty glow um, I'll keep that until the you know until we're ready to move and use my candles in it so the if you saw my little vi video about the lizard that was on the fireplace we tried to catch him we couldn't catch him that little thing was fast so he got away from us and we lost track of him all I can say is either he's gone out the way he came in or it's just here in the house somewhere doing its thing but yeah, it it was just too quick and too agile. We we didn't stand a chance. That thing was gone. We tried to get we had a little box with a folder. We we're gonna try to catch it and the get it to jump in the box and put the folder over the box and then carry it outside and set it loose, but it, it just did got away. <laughs> so it was gone. Um that's about that. What's going on behind me? Got something new, got a treadmill. And that had been on our list of things to get for a little while. Both of our doctors have been encouraging us to use a treadmill. And we had a little bit of extra money. And I thought, oh, do we want to go for a, a, you know, mini vacation over Labor Day weekend? You know, like go out of town, you know, day trip distance, get a hotel, stay, you know, stay overnight, go one, you know, one direction for the day, come back, spend the night, go the other direction, come back, and then go home, but decided, no, we need to do the adult responsible thing and buy something we need with it, so treadmill was at the, at or near the top of the list, so got a treadmill. I had been researching them for a while, we just got a very basic, inexpensive treadmill. Um, all that we needed it for was walking. We're not going to be jogging or running on it. We didn't need any special features like inclines and this, that, and the other. We needed a treadmill that would allow us to walk from a slow to a brisk pace, and that's it. And that's what we got. I, The brand, I believe, is Exerputic. Got it off Amazon. Um, I had looked at this one quite a few times. When I was first, you know, looking at what, what we could possibly get. And I had seen mixed mixed reviews of it. 
people either really liked it or they hated it. And I started looking at what the bad reviews were. And the bad reviews seemed to mostly be people that got defective ones. You know, ones that the little, um, the little electronic part, the computer, the controls wouldn't work or were malfunctioning or people that received a damaged treadmill. It seemed like most of the, most of the bad reviews were either that or people that were dissatisfied that it didn't do more than it did. But like I said, we just needed it for basic walking treadmill and nothing else. And people that wanted it for a basic walking treadmill and nothing else seemed happy with it. So we went ahead and got it, got it through Amazon. It was a prime item, so we got it really quick. I had watched a video, a guy did an unboxing, a video here on YouTube of the same treadmill where he showed, you know, from the box to setting it up to using it. And I watched it completely through and thought, okay, we can, we can set this up no problem. We're we're pretty experienced with assembling and setting stuff up. We pretty much, probably two-thirds, if not more, of our furniture is flat pack. So, you know, we, we can assemble a we can assemble an IKEA piece of furniture, no problem. <laughs> so we got it. <clears throat> the hardest part of setting it up was getting it in the house and, and hauling it over to where we wanted it because it was very heavy. But, I mean, you know, once we got it out of the box, it went together super easily and super quick. And from the time we, um, from the time we brought the box over to where we set it up to the time we were walking on it was less than an hour. So, it, it's, it's that, it was that simple. And it took two of us to do it because, you know, part of it you had to put, I guess, the legs on and the arms on. And, but I mean... I think my husband probably could have done it on his own. So it's not that big of a deal to put it up. And we really we really like it. We've both been using it. I just set it up by the window now. I don't really look out the window when I'm using it. I just, I'm not able to walk long at a time on it. So I'll usually just listen to music. I'll just have my, um, I'll just have the Echo play a, a really upbeat song and I'll get on and walk for a song or two. And that's about all I can do at a time right now. And then get up, you know, turn it back on later, get up, walk for another song, and so on and so forth throughout the day. That's why I wanted it right here in the middle of the living room, you know, so that I could, um, it would be right there. And there's no excuse like, oh, you know, it's in an out of the way place. I have to move stuff to get to it. No, it's right there. All I have to do is, is you know, turn it on, step on it and go. So there's no big excuse for not using it. <laughs> and we really cleared out the, the living room. We moved the pack boxes. We took our dining room table down, moved all of our pack stuff into the, the dining room and starting to move it into the computer room so that this room is just going to stay tidy and open and just comfortable to live in and enjoy being in. We sit in here and watch TV. I use the treadmill. I like to sit. I have a little table set up in front of my chair. I do do work on it, random stuff. So I wanted this room to be comfortable and, and livable. I didn't want to have a bunch of packed stuff in it. We don't really use our dining nook. It's not even a dining room. It's like a dining nook. We don't really use it much. So I... um decided we'll just put we'll just put boxes there and that's that's that another thing i'm sorry if i'm yawning i'm kind of out of it i'm having medication issues i was having some nerve pain on the top of my left foot um couldn't really figure out what was causing it but it was like a stripe going diagonally across the top of my left foot that I had just this burning, burning, searing, stabbing, shocky, pokey, you know, almost zappy electrical. But it, it felt like, imagine, have you ever been stung by a Portuguese man of war out in the water? You know, we have them in the Gulf of Mexico and you go swimming, you get one of the tentacles floating in the water you get one across you it's like somebody it's like somebody hits you with a whip or something it leaves a, a welt like in a line and it just burns like fire it felt like that but with somebody touching like an electrical wire and somebody poking with a needle at the same time 
so uh, awful pain, but just in a stripe across the top of that foot. So the doctor said, well, we're not 100% sure what's causing it, but it is nerve pain, so we're going to put you on nerve pain medicine. I can't take gabapentin. I took that when I had shingles, and I ended up having an allergic reaction and had to stop taking it and had really hard withdrawal time because I had to stop it abruptly. But the doctor said the next medicine in line is Lyrica. So they put me on Lyrica, which is pregabalin. It's similar to gabapentin, but not exactly. So I didn't have an allergic reaction. I'd started taking the 75 milligrams. And it, they said, you know, take it at night because it's going to make you sleepy. And boy, does it make you sleepy. And I would take it after supper and I'd be ready to go to bed at like 8 p.m. You know, I'd take it around between 6 and 7, and then I'm out. I'm ready to go to bed between 8 or 9. And it helped me sleep through the night. I wasn't having trouble falling asleep because of the pain, and I wasn't waking up because of the pain. And I was able to sleep completely through the night, but I was still having a lot of issues with the pain during the daytime, and I wasn't able to wear a lot of kinds of shoes. I was pretty much only able to wear slippers or, you know, like winter boots that are like fleecy lined anything soft and cushiony didn't make it hurt worse but anything structured and rubbed on it made it unbearable so the doctor increased my dose to 150 milligrams and that was fine for a while but i started having a lot of side effects and it's gotten to the point where i can't tolerate the side effects anymore so i went back to the doctor and well i called the doctor and he said, well, you haven't been on it long enough. You should be able to drop down to the 75 milligrams. And maybe you'll get enough pain relief now that you've had it for a while. Um, but I tried that. And I had I woke up in the middle of the night that night with a hot flash, cold sweat, nausea, shaky, anxiety feeling. Same thing I felt when I had to stop taking the gabapentin abruptly so I took my you know second half of the dose and the it went away within a half hour so I knew it was withdrawal issue so I went back to the doctor yesterday and he put me on a tapering schedule to taper me down 25 milligrams at a time and the goal is since it worked for me initially to taper down until I'm getting pain relief but the side effects start to decrease I'm trying to find an equilibrium where I'm getting enough pain relief to live with and fewer side effects to live with. So I'm just trying to find equilibrium and keep tapering down 25 milligrams at a time. And if it gets to the point where I can't get, I can't reach that equilibrium where I'm still getting enough pain relief, but the side effects are bearable, they're going to have to, I'm going to have to finish tapering and they're going to have to switch me to another medication, which I really hope not because there's not a whole lot of choices for nerve pain and they all come with side effects. Um, we'll just have to, we will just have to see what happens, but I'm not looking forward to, to that if I have to. I'm really hoping this works and I can get down to a lower dose and um, everything will be fine. But yeah, that's why I'm not that's why I'm not feeling great. My I, my hair is just gross. I haven't I haven't washed it. Um, I just ugh, I just feel awful the past few days. That the, That's the thing about the side effect of it. It was not just making me sleepy anymore. You know, sleepy I can deal with because I'm a housewife. If I need to sleep 12 hours a day, well, I at least be very productive, you know, the other 12 hours of the day. But, you know, not only was I sleeping 12, 14 hours a day, but I was completely brain fogged and lethargic the hours I was awake. And then I, it was also making my anxiety worse and it was giving me a lot of brain fog um, just a lot of other weird little side effects, stomach issues, and it just got to the point where over, you know, I guess a couple weekends ago, I just, my husband was watching me and he said, you know, you're, you're starting to really struggle. I, don't, I think you need to call your doctor Monday. And I did. And, you know, hopefully this will, hopefully this will work, but that's, 
that's about that. Um, nothing new really going on here. It's just 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 daily life. Um, he's about to start his seasonal second part-time job, his weekend job, coming up soon. Um, we had hoped to be moved by now, but that's not going to happen. It looks like it's going to be pushed to the end of the year, first of next year. It's still happening. It just keeps getting delayed. Um, but it is what it is. So that's about that. I had a lot of projects I've been wanting to do, but just this you know, no energy, not able to motivate myself to do things. I don't know. I'm just hoping that, hoping that tapering down off this medication helps. But yeah, it's brain drugs. Anything that's like a brain affecting medication seems to affect me hard. And I don't know if that's because I have a brain injury and my brain is, is compromised to begin with or what, but... It just seems like this has been rougher than it should have been. So that's that's about that. I do have one little project update. I haven't even been working on my knitting. So I just can't. It's sitting in front of me. Um, I'm doing really good with my cowl. It's going to be nice when I get it done. I'm about two-thirds done. So... Um, probably work on it a little bit more tonight, but yeah, I'm making some progress with stuff, but oh, I had all this stuff I wanted to do. I wanted to do a bunch of sewing. I wanted to do, I don't even think I'm going to do the Christmas card exchange this year, to be honest. I just don't know if I have the wherewithal. Um, the sign up deadline is like in, it's a while. It's like the beginning of October. So we'll see how I feel come the beginning of October. If I feel up to it, I'll do it. But at this point right now, I cannot commit to like doing a hundred card Christmas card exchange. There's no way. I just don't have it in me. You know, even if I bought all the cards, I don't have it in me to address them and everything and stamp them and send them. So I've got a bunch of stuff I've been meaning to list on eBay and I still haven't done that. It, it, it needs to get done. Let's see Miss Pooh is grooming herself. So, it's, it's been rough. I, anyway, that, that's that. Hopefully, hopefully the next update I have will be a little bit more interesting and a little bit more upbeat and a little bit more coherent, but, you know, it, life is still going on for us, just at a, just at a much slower pace. Oh yeah, and another thing about Lyrica, it, it freaking makes you gain weight, it makes you hungry. Um... I started gaining weight back, and I, that was another thing. I told the doctor, no, I'm, no, and I'm not happy with that. And, I mean, I've dropped my food intake. It's not just that it makes you hungry all the time. It makes you so lethargic. And a lot of this, when people say these medicines make you gain weight, okay, there's multiple things that go on. They make you more hungry. They make you crave. It, it makes me more hungry. It makes me crave junk food. And, you know, a high calorie food, but comfort food. It makes me crave comfort food. But also because I'm so lethargic, think of all like the random activity people do, you know, getting up and walking around the house, going and getting a glass of water, going and getting a book out of the other room, going and out to check the mail, you know, going out to do this, you know, you're always moving around. Even if you're in, even if you're, you know, home all day, you're still moving around your house. Well, this medicine, I would go from the bedroom to my chair in the living room and not get up unless it was to go to the bathroom. And that's another thing with Lyrica, you know, it shuts that down too. So, you know, not to be too graphic here, but normal, you know, drinking a lot of water, you get up and have to go pee like however many times a day, Lyrica, screw that, you know, you, <laughs> it shuts everything down. And I would find myself getting up, helping my husband get ready for work. Then after he leaves for work, sitting in my chair, the next thing I know, it's noon. And I'm like, okay. Then I get up, move around, get something to eat, get something to drink, go into the bathroom, come back, sit down. The next thing I know, it's time for him to be getting off work. And I don't even get up and move around until he gets home from work and it's time to fix dinner. And then he fixed dinner. 
come in here, sit down again, and I don't move again until it's time to go to bed. So it, you know, no, I can't, I can't live like that. So it, it just was shutting everything down. I wasn't go, I wasn't going into the computer room. I wasn't going into the craft room. I wasn't going, you know, around the house. I wasn't, I'm slacking on my chores. So it just makes you want, it makes me, and I'm not saying this does it to anybody. I'm saying it makes me want to do nothing but sit and vegetate and be sedentary. And it takes everything, you know, in me to force myself to get up and walk five minutes on a freaking treadmill. So it's, it's not working for me long, long and the short of it. So, um, yeah, um, it's that, that's that. Hopefully next time I see you guys, things will be better, but things aren't, hor aren't horrible now. They're just having a little bump in the road, but that's that, and I'm going to go, I'm going to upload this, and I'm going to attempt to make myself do something before my husband gets home in a little while. So that's that, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.